Welcome to Sweethearts Arrivals. I'm Sharla. I'm Justin. What's on our table today? Sushi Go. Sushi Go. Yep. This game is for ages eight and up. Mm -hmm. It can take two to five players and it could take you about 15 minutes. Yep. It's polished by Game Right Games. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to show you how to play. Right. And then we're going to actually do a full playthrough. Right. And then a review. Yep, so we'll put the links on the screen somewhere. Yep. And yeah. we're going to switch the cameras, and we'll be right back to set up. So let's see what comes in the box. Yep. The rules, of course. Mm-hmm. And that deck of cards. So we can put this over there. Yep. So she go. Whoops. <laughs> and the rules. Yep. Setup is very easy. Yes, it is. Um, in Sushi Go, basically what you're doing is you're just trying to get the most points. And you get the most points uh, at the end of three full rounds. Mm -hmm. um, first thing you do is you take your cards and you're going to shuffle them up. All shuffled. And then, depending on how many players there are, each player is going to get so many cards. Uh, in a two-player game, everyone gets ten. Thanks. Now to play Sushi Go, what you're going to do is you're going to take a look at your hand and you're going to look to see all the different cards that you have. You're going to choose one to put it down like that. And when everyone's ready, they're going to flip it over. And then you're going to swap hands or if you have more than two players, you're going to pass your deck of cards onto the next player. So in this way, you're going to draft. You look through the new hand of cards, you pick a card, everyone's ready, they flip it over. And you keep going until there's no cards left and then you count points. And this is where the game of Sushi Go gets interesting because of all the different kinds of set collections you can get. So, uh, the kind of cards you can get is you can get Mackey Rolls. Yep. Uh, and up at the top here, there are so many different, like there's so many uh, rolls. So this is two, there's one, and there's three. And at the end of a round, whoever has the most gets so many points. Uh, it is six. Whoever gets the second most is going to get three points. And everyone else is just left behind right uh, then you can get the tempora cards and the tempora cards give you absolutely no points unless you have two of them right. yeah. then you get five points yep yeah. so every pair of tempora is two and it's really nice kind of iconography is the tempora there's two of them and they're smiling because they're together right so it's easy to kind of pick that up well that one's smiling he looks kind of well, he's got a grin on his face, like, oh, I love being with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next one is the sashimi. Mm -hmm. And the sashimi is the exact same thing, except instead of two, it's three. And there's three different sashimi, so that means you need to get a set of three. Yeah. Every set of three is going to give you ten points. Right. If you don't have a set of three, no points Zero at all. Zero points. No points for you. Yep. Uh, the next kind, I don't actually have a card of. Do you have a oh, dumpling? I don't have dumplings. No dumplings. There's a dumpling. Yep. Dumplings are awesome because they're like, the more you get, the more points you get. That's right. So you got one dumpling, that's one point. Two dumplings is worth three points. Six points, ten points, and fifteen points. And it's very easy to see. They're kind of set down there. And, and why is that? Because who doesn't like to eat a whole lot of dumplings? Oh, yeah. Just pick out on some dumplings. That's right. Uh, then you have uh, the nigiri. So the first one will be the egg. Do you have egg? I do not. I have an egg. There you go. One egg nigiri by itself will give you one point. Yep. Um, I have a squid nigiri, which is worth three points. And there's a salmon nigiri, which... Gives you two points. There you go, two points. Uh, there is something different with the nigiri, though. Um, and that is a wasabi card. Right. If you play a wasabi card down first, and then later on you play a nigiri, you can put any one of the nigiris on top of the wasabi. And what that does is it's going to triple the value of that nigiri. So a wasabi by itself is zero, but it triples the score of one nigiri. Right. Yep. Uh, the next are the chop sticks. I have. Oh, you have one. Yep. I've got a chop stick right here. Chop sticks don't give you any points at all. What you do is you put it down, and then you get your next uh, hand of cards. And what you can do is you choose one card as normal, but then you can say, Sushi Go! you got to say it out loud. Mm -hmm. And it allows you to pick up that chopstick and put it in your hand so that you can take a second card. So it's a tricky way of basically 
I'm going to pass this round and not take any good cards. Because there might be two cards in that other hand that I really want to get. Yeah. So that's what the chopsticks do. So that's an interesting way of kind of breaking the whole drafting one card rule. Yeah. Finally, there are the puddings. Pudding. Puddings. The cutest card in the entire game. I just have to say that. Now, the puddings are interesting. There's, there's three rounds. So what you're going to do is you're going to play a whole round and count up all your points. And then you take all the cards that you're from that round, except for the puddings, and you're going to put them in the discard. And you're not going to use them. You're going to take another set of 10 cards if it's a two-player game. And then you're going to play again, count up the points, take all those cards except for the puddings, put them away, and do a third round. And at the end of the third round is when you actually score your puddings. And whoever has the most puddings gets six points. Whoever has the least puddings loses six points. Mm -hmm. Except in a two-player game. In a two-player game, it's just whoever has the most. Um, if there's ever any ties between the puddings or the Mackey rolls, um, the first and second place kind of share the points. It's fair. Yeah. Uh, and that is it. Uh, at the end of three rounds, whoever has the most points is the winner of Sushi Go. Yep. So it's it's just that quick and easy. Yep. Awesome. So what we'll do is we'll uh, shuffle these in, shuffle the deck a little bit, and... We'll do a full playthrough. Full playthrough. In another video. That's right. Thanks for watching. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Laters.